Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to achieve and maintain bright healthy skin and just a little disclaimer, I don't have perfect skin to start off with, I used to have really dark and tan dull looking skin, I know it's hard to imagine but that was when I was younger and when I was not that into skin and it took me years to come to this day which I'm really really happy about so I want to pass some tips that I've learned to you guys on how to achieve this so let's get started the first tip we'll start off with is definitely sunscreen I think everyone needs sunscreen not only if you want to achieve um, bright healthy looking skin but it's just a no-brainer sunscreen really protects your skin from the UV rays therefore it'll prevent you from age or not age spots but sunspots which I have on my cheeks right here and it's from when I was little and I don't understand the concept of sunscreen and so these things you can't basically get rid of it's really hard to get rid of them and I just stuck with them for years and years so sunscreen is definitely a must and also since I was about 15 I started doing DIY facials because when I was little I didn't have that much money to splurge on you know purchase off the shelf but me personally I prefer DIY facials even to this day and products such as milk, lemon and yogurt really brightens the skin and just brings out the radiance in the skin and products such as honey really moisturizes the skin because you not only want your skin to look bright but if you have really dry dull looking skin it also brings down the whole tone of the skin so also moisturize your skin saying that I do have a video on my DIY facial and I'll link it off here if you have sensitive skin I recommend getting rid of the lemon portion completely and I recommend this facial for about twice a week if you're not into DIY facials you know you can always get facials off the shelf and just focus on brightening and moisturizing and you're on the right track Another important aspect is to exfoliate. You know, if you always have a dead layer on the skin, you can never let your skin truly shine. So I use the Cure Natural Aqua Gel about once a week and it gets rid of just that layer of dead skin cell that's been building up across the face. For daily cleansing and exfoliating, I've been using the Biore Pore Unclogging, Unclogging Scrub alongside with this little micro or silicone scrub thingy. And I just run across the face and it just gets rid of any excess oil and dirt with the micro little beads on it or little stick things I'm not sure what to call it but it just feels great on the skin and the little beads in this helps you get rid of the dead skin cells saying that everyone has different skin so what I have here might not work for you so just experiment and see what works best after you cleanse and exfoliate it I really recommend you go in and get something that really sucks out the oil or the dirt inside the pores because sometimes these product might skip these places or can't reach these places so I've been trying this little facial brush and it has really really fine hairs in it so it really helps get rid of the oils inside the pores and sometimes when your pores are clogged or you know blackheads it just forms a dark patch around that area so I really recommend you cleansing out your pores um, products such as you know a good clay, clay mask might suck out the oil and a little like thing like this can help you just clean out your pores as well I forgot to mention this before the cleansing tip and that is to remove your makeup completely every single day if you have makeup hanging around your face you might find that you might have patches like makeup stuck on your dead skin cells here and you know your pores might be really dirty and large so it just benefits you overall after you do these skincare steps another product to add into your beauty regime is a vitamin C serum vitamin C really helps to brighten your inner skin layer so when you get rid of that dead skin cell or dead skin layer so when it comes up it's like ready to shine like all skincare results you need time I've been working on this for about a good nine years already and like me we need to all play around with our skincare routine to see what works best so give it time and you'll see results in the end we also need to find products that doesn't oxidize on our skin you know there's no point prepping your skin to make it bright looking inside but when you like layer stuff on top it just you know goes all downhill from there so for me like products that have oil in it really dulls down my skin because I think it's the mixture of my skin's oil and that product just doesn't work out so find product for you that doesn't oxidize and I know during our nighttime routine we tend to pack on product for our skin to drink up and that time I don't really mind about oxidizing because no one gets to see me but during the day I really focus on applying product that doesn't 
oxidize my skin. This tip is probably the golden rule to all skincare results and that is to eat clean. Steer away from oily food because if you eat oily, you might get oily skin and that, you know, enlarged pores, acne and all these bad stuff on the skin. Also, I'll steer away from um, dark sauces like soy sauce. When I was younger, I used to eat soy sauce every single day and I got these dark spots around the mouth. Really unappealing, they look like age spots. And minimize your intake on spicy food because they might give you acne and I end this video with the note of drinking lots and lots and lots of water because it really helps you flush out the toxins and just make your skin shine because there's nothing dirty inside the body and I hope this video helped you guys a lot thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and until next time bye